The Grand County of the Mutland, simply known as the Moot, is a minor and late founding imperial province that was formed in the early 11th century. Their lands contain portions of Averland and Stirland that was taken from them by Emperor Ludwig. It's a very fertile land and many of the locals are farmers because of that, providing a large bulk of the food supplied in the empire. Halflings live here. They're roughly half the size of a fully grown man. They're more interested in food, chilling at home, and avoiding things like adventures or warfare. They're resistant to the corruption and chaos and are largely avoided by other folk because of their clannish and also theft-laden nature. Now, while they prefer not to fight, they will scrap in times of trouble. During the reign of Karl Franz, one of the elders sent off a large contingent of halflings to act as scouts and skirmishers for the Imperial Army, earning praise for their bravery and skill but also complaints from the quartermaster for missing goods too. For our first named unit with a backstory, we have the Backwater Butchers, which is a unit of master cooks by Patron Fear Strikes. If you'd like to name a unit in the game, any patron of my channel can do that. All links for that are down below. And don't forget to join our Dogs of War Discord community where you can ask me questions or even just chat with us all. Anyway, the Backwater Butchers are known to be the line cooks of many dives and drinking holes. They're willing to use whatever it takes to turn a profit, and their number one rule is to not ask where the meat comes from. They've gotten so many locals and visitors sick, they were rounded up and sent off to fight for their people, hopefully making enemies sick instead. Welcome everyone to the rise of the halflings in the Mootland. We are right here in Aishashatan, and we're led by Samwise Warfoot. Let's go have a look at his unique abilities. Conjurer of Cheap Tricks, plus one to public order. Very nice, okay. And we've got a mixture of spells, it looks like. So we've got a lot of that going on. Now, there are unique traits up here, like Butcher, more income. Okay, very cool. My campaign movement will go down. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I'll consider it. If we are local a lot, and we should be, then, hey, that could be okay to pick up. Okay, my miscast chance will go down incredibly so at level 14. And Greenleaf Battle Robes, I'll have Perfect Vigor, a ward save of 10%, and a speed increase of 10% as well. All right, so what is our goal? Our goal is to reclaim more lands. Maybe I want to take over a little bit of Averlin, but largely I think our goal will be to destroy the undead over here to the east. After that, who knows what we'll do? I have no idea. But let's go over here because we'll probably go after Fort Obersteyer. Yeah, we'll do that. I can't recruit right now. I'll take my fields and turn them into a farm. That's more income for me, 25 to 50, so not a lot. And what else do I need? Well, why don't we pick up? No, I don't want to lose public order. I'm losing way too much as it is right now. Yeah, we'll come over here and pick up a little bit more, plus four, that will help me out. Then we'll need another building. Okay, Tangled Grove of Altern. That can be turned into a grove, then later into a sacred grove. I would lose pretty much all of my industry money, good to know. But I'll be able to get a tree man by level three. There's a lot of landmark buildings here. Eventually, I'll need to destroy everything in order to accommodate all of them. Like over here is the Grand Cauldron. Now that would give me more ogres, Grand Cauldron Cooks, and a Grand Cauldron Hot Pot Catapult. Let me tell you about Hot Pot. I love Hot Pot. Usually Mongolian hot pot. All right, so I can't recruit anything other than my pistoliers. That can wait. I'm going to try them out later. For technology, we have a lot of options. For now, I will pick up Colonial Fort to get more replenishment and more public order as well. Boar broth. Okay. It'll be cheaper to recruit. Early on, that could be even better. Then mutton stew will reduce my upkeep by 15%. That should be fun. All of you wanted to see my halflings, so here they are. Let's go have a look at who I want to trade with our faction. Okay, Reichlin, I know that you love me. As you should. We are allied. We should always be allied. Please protect me. <laughs> don't let me die. Alright, you're not allied to Reichlin, so I don't want to get entangled in some other type of alliance. And you two, I don't know who's going to be allied to who, so I'm going to watch out for all of them. I would very much like for them to attack our enemies, but let's end our turn right now. That is what we can do. We've got some money. We actually do have a decent amount of money coming right on in. Yeah, Reichlin, you do what you need to, buddy. I'm going to be over here to the east, getting ready to form a type of stalwart vanguard fighting the undead. Imagine that. The reclamation of the halflings here. They're like, hey, you eat our food, 
Well, you're gonna eat our hands too when you catch them. All right, I can't get more units yet. That's really a big issue for me. A big old issue. So what we can do, we can just move back over here for fun, just to kind of wait. Going after Vlad is going to be a huge challenge. I wonder what my defenses are like. Are we going to be able to... No, we don't really get a lot. Not right now. Maybe later, but not today. So we're going to end our turn again quickly because I only have so much money and so much to build on. I need to upgrade again. I mean, we begin again as a very minor, minor faction. We are the minor faction of minor factions. When you look up the definition of minor faction, you look at us here. Okay, Grim Hammer lets you decide how your campaign will play. All right, I could have faction-wide caps. Sure, why not? I'll take that. We'll do that. And finally, I could get my Grove of Altern. More public order. I'll take it. I've got the money. Let's recruit whatever we can. Like Dryads. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get a few of them. Now, they do have magical attacks, and I do like that a lot. Oh, Warfoot's Band. Lumpen Croups Fighting Cocks. Beastmaster Exiles and Kathleen Soup Tank. I get a Soup Tank later. How fun is that, huh? All right, well, let's end our turn again because right now, there's not too much more for me to do. I've got to just end my turn and get to a point where I can recruit more. I need a full army, then I'll charge out and begin fighting the undead. If I do so now, I'm not going to be able to easily recruit because I'm in my own region. I would have to leave and go back here. Okay, Beastmen Rising set up. If I do that, they will invade in mid and late game. Sure, why not? We'll do that. I haven't played Still Faith in so long, but I don't need a lot of other mods to really spice it up because it's such a big overhaul, right? So it's all good. All right, these guys have got 18 armor. Dryads have more, surprisingly. Okay. Good to know. So we're not done recruiting yet. I could use my money to recruit what's up here. That would potentially save me a little bit of time on getting a full army. There goes a little bit more of my money, but that is okay. I'm waiting to get my full capital upgrade. Oh, look at Vlad go. Now, I wonder, I could actually take on Vlad now. If he's been losing a few units, maybe I could go beat him now. Oh, it's daring. Imperial Peace are over here. Okay, if I do that, they won't attack each other. That would allow me to focus on different enemies if I do that though yeah now that can lead to a different campaign experience I wonder if we do need that but we're gonna say no for now and add a little bit of chaos because where chaos exists we can thrive which is telling now we are meant to be resistant to chaos too hey I look better now yeah of pies and tobacco so Averland hates me we get more money from industry cool we get Decent diplomatic relations with most people. Growth, too. And a lot of income from trade. So we need trade. I'm hoping that maybe we can engage in a little bit of that good old tobacco wacky trade. <laughs> All right. So, Sterling, maybe you can be my buddy. My yeah? No? Okay. I didn't believe you would want to. All right. I'll need time because factions do kind of like me. They are improving in their opinion of me. But in terms of who would like to trade with me... It's not very high. Now, Vlad is much stronger. Blood Dragons are evidently alive. Oh, they're over here where they should be near their castle. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to check out Still Faith because I haven't played in like a year or more. So there's so much that I need to probably learn about. Aisha Shatten, thank you for being a good capital. I'm very proud of you. There goes Reichland. I do want to keep track of Reichland and what they're doing, but they have a lot of power. They have Helmgard, Ilhart, Ubersreich, Altdorf, Grunberg, all the Bergs. Back over to me now. All right, took me a bit. My units are actually cheaper to recruit now. I've got a pretty big army. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So what I can do, I can just move over here and get ready to fight Vladdy later on. For now, I'll fight Manfred, the manlet. All right, so what are we going to take now? We can get great eagles. That would be a nice bit of variety, actually. We'll take those two and we'll grab halfling rangers. Yeah, we'll take that. For research, what do I want? Well, it's pretty simple. I could either get my mutton stew, because mm, mutton, or I can get over here my colonial fort. I'm going to do that. Yeah, because, hey, why not have a little bit of replenishment? And we'll have a full army in one turn. Actually, I'm going to grab those pistol ears real quick. Boom, done. Then we'll have great eagles. We can finally go into battle and rid the world of the undead through the might of soup and cooking skills. 
I'm just gonna go look at all of their food, like all of their human cattle, and go, it's fucking raw, and lose my mind. Now, Vlad just came in. Interesting. He's stronger. I could go beat him now, go back home, replenish, go after his lands instead, while we leave the weaker of the two factions to just kind of stew here. Ha, stew. Cooking. Fun. All right, let's go over here and kill Vlad. Vladdy Daddy. No love for you. Let's go. I'm a number eight power already. Let's go fight Vlad. He, now, he does have Vargas and Blood Knights. Oh, dear God. 75 weapon strength. He's got no nose for combat. Now, he did march, so his units are, quote unquote, <laughs> tired. They're undead, so whatever that means. And Emmanuel Posner is over here as your spell caster. Well, let's go in and show them what it's like to not have proper kitchen etiquette and cut off their hands, <laughs> which is a proper response to not knowing where to put your forks and spoons. We finally have a battle beginning right over here. Let's have a look at what we have. We've got Wardens at 18 armor, 55 melee defense, which is pretty darn good. Over here we have Dryads at only 25 melee defense, but a decent 34 weapon strength. They're being hit by a Mystifying Miasma that's been upgraded. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. On my left flank, Halfling Rangers at 18 missile damage, a little bit lower than usual. Okay, then they have, what, a pretty good melee defense at 44, so their melee defense is very high. Like over here, the Backwater Butchers, 55, and I think we're going to have some very interesting battles, but we're hitting the Undead early, which is where we can thrive. Now, here are Ogres, man. They actually look pretty darn good. I like them. I mean, they're modeled after Orcs, but it somehow works very well. They make me laugh a lot. I mean, that's a lot of fun. So they're at, like, what, 105 weapon strength? They have over here Bone Crusher, reducing speed and melee defense, as I did mention before. They have great armor piercing. That's going to be a huge boon for me. My leader is going to be all about supporting my army in the very beginning. Here's my Pistoliers now shooting a few fell bats at me. These guys have 52 missile damage. That is really great. They're going to be able to move up and bother our enemy's flyers. I mean, look at those bats fall around. Vargais are not easy, so I'm a little bit worried about them. Yeah, they've got, let's see here, 215 for weapon strength, a 55 charge bonus. Now everyone is charging in right now. I mean, here they go. We've got a pretty cinematic view. I'll get a close-up of our little halfling friends over the next few battles. But for now, let's focus on what's happening, which is a grand charge from Vargais and more. It was never going to be easy, and I was right about that. My great eagles are a huge help. I mean, having that hybrid mixture of units is gonna change up my battles dynamically. I'm gonna be able to do a lot by using wood elf units, or high elf units, triads, eagles, and all of that. Bell bats are still moving in. Now, they can deal a lot of alpha damage. An alpha strike is whenever you have that initial boost to your attack, which would be a charge bonus. It's what you get when you hit in the very beginning. Here comes my ogres right now. We're moving over a few wardens too. We'll go after that Vampiris, Emmanuel Posner. Over here on the left flank, we're destroying a lot of fell bats. They have eight kills only. My master cooks are doing a great job at destroying them, though they too are taking a lot of damage. I mean, check them out. Get in my pot! Is what they're shouting. I love the way they look. They're portly. A bunch of beardless dwarves, which is not too far from how halflings look in Warhammer art anyway. I mean, check them out. They're adorable. Wearing, like, pot lids on their heads and everything. And yeah, dryads, we know all about dryads. Nothing new there. But let's go back over here to my halfling friends. They've got little lanterns on their cloaks. They're all ready to go on a long journey to go drop a ring, a little bit of jewelry down a frickin' volcano. No, we're here for the magical ladle. And right now, there's a gangbang going on. A gang of halflings saying hello to a lovely vampiris. Please get that mental picture out of your mind. I know I didn't. Okay, ogres are over here now. Not getting a lot of kills, but they don't really need to. They're just helping me destroy blood knights. Blood knights are strong, right? But they are now surrounded by halflings and dryads and ogres. Many, many ogres. All right, let's go over here now and check things out. My great eagles are attacking these blasted var guys, and they also have a bleeding attack effect where they take damage over time. My great eagles are actually great. Their name is not just a little descriptor, it's true. So we're getting a few attacks in over here. These blood knights are done for. I mean, they fell apart and we've won the battle. The battle is now over. Let's get a move on now. Because right now, we only need to worry about one leader who's about to fall apart. That leader 
Vlad Von Karstein. Vladdy Daddy's not doing well. Later, pal. You've been hit by the Great Eagle attack. Take our halfling freedom. Now, that was a decisive victory. Here's what we're going to do now. We're not going to lose our replenishment. I want to keep it up. I mean, that is a lot of money, but I don't need to spend it yet. Oh my god, a war banner. Look at that. Weapon strength goes up. It's actually useful. I'll give it to my ogres. Much angrier ogres are what I need. Yeah, we'll destroy all the undead. Goodbye, Posner. We beat him. Now we have a new trait. Oh, now when we get wounded, we're going to recover quickly. That is actually a really good trait to have. All right, we're going to come on down now. I don't need to recruit more. I'm just going to get on over here. Okay, at rank two, I'm going to give you Route Marcher for one. Now you do have another point to spend. Evidently, you get two. And Grimhammer, cool. Okay, so we'll actually be able to invest pretty quickly. Now, there's a few things I want here. More replenishment would certainly be that. Here we go. So now, not only do we lose attrition, we get more replenishment. And that feature is a little bit better to pick up. Cool. All right, I'm going to combine what I have. That way, most of my groups are full up. Now, what I could do, I could just disband my one unit here and recruit another group of triads. Done. Next, we get to end our turn. 720 income, which is not a lot, sure. But hey, we beat Vlad. He was completely stuffed full of baguettes, and it was incredible. Oh, the Barrow Legion. They're out there. We've got Artois, Bedevon, and all the, you know... French-inspired stuff out here to the west. All right. The Empire. I should shot the... We've got an Empire Captain. Hey, thank you. Much appreciated, buddy. Well, Gregor Roxburger. He's even named at their food. Come on. That's amazing. Burger Man, let's go. He's like, dude, who would put me out here to serve? We would. We would, buddy. Okay, rank two. I'll give you specialist right now. All right. Ooh, what's over here? New abilities. Hell yeah. Oh, check it out. I can lower the upkeep for either my infantry. Okay. Or does it lock for the cause? Okay. Available after. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's really cool. I can summon a unit of officers over here as a demographic map. Map. Mount. Haha. <laughs> but it's a mount on the map that will not show up. Okay, now it's time to come over here to go destroy Vladdy Daddy. Not my name I gave him. It's a name that was given to him. Okay. We're actually rolling right through them. Will I fight them? I want to see more halflings fight on foot. We'll do that. It wouldn't be fair for me to auto-resolve every easy battle for myself. And hopefully these dwarves over here will not try to take land that should belong to me. To the mighty Mootlin. Another big halfling battle. We're fighting crypt ghouls. We've got over here a vampire of death magic and a vampire lord. Here comes a few var guys. Here's my formation. I've got my halflings on the right flank, my dryads on the left flank. We've got a few rangers moving back, and my more unique, more powerful units are back here. Well, I do have my militia close by as well. They're not very powerful. They're just kind of there to kind of stop my larger foes in combat. But, ooh, my poor halflings are getting beaten down. For the moot! For the fighting cocks! That's what you gotta shout. Right now, my girlfriend is home and she's working in her office. I wonder if she passes by and she hears me, what she'll think. <laughs> anyway, Critical is right over here. Actually, I'll tell you what she would think. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. Crypt Ghouls are over here fighting my Dryads. My Dryads have decent armor, so maybe they'll be okay. The Crypt Ghouls do not. They only have a melee attack of 27. We've got 28 and magical attacks for our own Dryads. And over here would be that Vampire Lord. Okay, over here, what else do we have? We've got more Dryads fighting zombies. My Pistoliers are still dragging away a group of Crypt Ghouls. They're at 29 kills, and that will only go up. They will never be caught by Crypt Ghouls unless they're forced into a corner. Now we're moving around to try to flank this other group of Crypt Ghouls right now. Beyond that, back here, where we were charged into, we have ogres who are currently fighting a few of our guys. Seven kills total for them, but they're falling apart now. My rangers are moving away. My other units, my other wardens are now moving around. They are shielded, they have stock, they have vanguard, and the vanguard is so much fun. It allows me to do so much more. Now, our biggest issue, really, is leadership. 
we'll probably see that issue pop up more later on, but leadership can be a huge problem in a battle of attrition. If I were to wait to beat my vampire neighbors, I would be in big trouble. They would probably outlast me. 35 kills over here. More fellow bats are moving in, going after our Grand Enchanter, who we need to check out. My ogres are now moving in. I mean, look at them go. Holy crap. I love them. And we are getting, like, what? Some custom models in? We've got a Still Faith Overhaul Bloodthirster. That's really cool. We'll have to check that out pretty darn soon, too. And Warden's over here. Let's see. Spirit Leech is weakening them. We've got zombies here being destroyed. We flanked a lot of them over here. We won the battle completely. My Great Eagles are destroying everyone. My Pistoliers won their battle, too. So now we're just fighting a few segments of what they have left, which is a Vampire Lord at 25 kills. And we're also hitting their Crypt Ghouls with a bunch of ranged attacks while my Ogres are smashing everyone into pieces right now. They never look big until you compare them to other units nearby. Then they look huge. There we are. Here's that Vampire Lord. My Dryads are pretty close by. We got that Vampire of Death Magic. But here comes a charge in for my Great Eagles who are going to equalize and weaken them considerably. Here's a Vampire of Death Magic right now. 40 kills total. But they're now all falling apart as the undead do. We need to stop this ranged attacks to avoid some friendly fire. They're falling apart now. They're beginning to disintegrate. And the battle has been won for the Mootlin. Our empire, our little kingdom, is now beginning to grow. There's a decisive victory for us over here. Okay, a speed increase and a charge bonus. I'm going to give that over to my Great Eagles. Yeah, why not? We killed a lot more of them than they killed of us, and that's really good. So we're going to occupy because I have a new bit of land. I'm going to call it Soup Land later. In the name of the Empire. Okay. I could use it as a base of operations, or I can give it over to the Empire. Now, you know, I need land. I really do. Today, I'm a liberator. There we go. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to build up our guardhouse, and I do have a rally filled. Very cool. I've been needing one of those. All right, I'll take yes, it. General. We're not going to use our captain for quite some I time. I need him to level up. Now, to, what am I going to do with you, buddy? Here we go. We'll lose less due to attrition, and we'll gain more casualty replenishment as well. Not bad. It's still not very high, but it could be higher. Hey, we can get it higher. Okay, dwarves, if you come over here to Castle Drakenhof and you weaken them, that would be cool. Or did we destroy Vlad? Maybe he's done for. Oh, heck yeah. If he is, I mean, all the better for me. Then I'll go after you know who. Sylvania. Yep, Sylvania would be the number one power now. They're fighting the Blood Dragons. Sure. Let's end their turn. It's time. I might even recruit some new units. Who knows, man? No, we had a very easy time of it because Vlad was caught in a very precarious position. Actually, having an active, you know, moot force can make it very challenging for you to do anything at all, right? So, that worked out very well for me. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do and try out, and we're certainly going to change it up a little bit. Okay, Averland and Sylvania, you two are fighting. Good. All right, they're moving back. Rot Blood Tribe and Midland. They're fighting too. They gave me a Light Wizard. Holy crap, they're just like throwing crap at me. I'm okay with that. Okay, so Gregor from Altdorf. Very cool. Let's go steal a little bit of technology. Yeah, there we go. Critical failure. Not a great start, buddy. Okay, what's over here? Imperial Satellite. Gotcha. Captain? Go check out what's out there in the world, you know? Because I don't really know. Not too much. I mean, it's a very low-leveled location. Now, if I do that, they could come after my own capital. And that would be bad. Now, could I beat them? Maybe? I wouldn't have a lord. Oh, good. Level 3. Heck yeah. All right. Two points for you. I'll give you specialists over here. Then, because I'm going to keep you out on the field, I'm going to give you Assault Garrison. Or we could just raise you up for future combat capabilities. I mean, you do give plus three to melee attack and melee defense, which is pretty darn good. Okay. Upkeep would go up by 8%. That'll need to wait then. All right, let's see. Upkeep would go down for horsemen if I do that. 
Tough as nails. Right. What about your melee abilities? All the same. Understood. All right. Hold the line. I could just wait until rank 20 to actually use them. That's true. Yeah, we do get a lot of points, so that could work out. All right. Now, let's move up just a little bit. Ooh, we're losing quite a few. That's okay. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to form up my encampment. I'm going to combine what I have right now. We're looking pretty sweet. And... Sterling, you would like to trade, correct? Maybe a non-aggression pact for one. Maybe later they'll want to trade. I'm a top contender. I never thought that would happen. That's pretty wild. Look at me just rolling on through. All right, dwarves are close by. Now they really want to trade. I'll take that right away. I could even ally them and become like close buddies. Now I wonder, will they pay me for that? I want to try to get some money from them. Yeah, they will. My demands, 900 gold. So now we're buddies, and I normally wouldn't do that, but I'm here to get into a few wars if I can. Check it out. They're my little bulwark over in the mountains where I don't really have a great chance to get a lot of great land. So if we end up conquering all of our enemies over here, we can move somewhere else and begin to support the Empire. We can build up what we have, but support the Empire, which to me, from a roleplay narrative, is pretty interesting. So the Mootland will reclaim the lands, and maybe through our soupy ways, we'll begin to cleanse the soiled ground and get rid of corruption. All right. What do we have over here? Defensive Alliance? Okay, we could take that. Sure. I don't know how the frickin' orcs will do, but hopefully they win so we can fight some orcs. That should get wild. Whoa! Karakas and Felin is now gone. Goodbye. They are destroyed. All right, let's go over here and try to break down their garrison. He failed. Unfortunately, that would have been a great victory for me, but oh well. All right, I'm going to give you wound. Pretty decent chance to kill people. Yeah, we're going to do that. And now we can go after Castle Drakenhof. I don't care if you're unhappy. I need your lands right now. I need it all. I might lose some money when I put a lord over an ice shot then. Oh, holy crap, that's a much bigger garrison than I thought they would have. Okay, if I do that, that should be challenging. They could have potentially another army come by to fight me. Hopefully, they're too far away, but I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, and while we are here, who am I going to bring up? Halfling Noble, Huntsman General. We could change it up, sure. A General of the Empire. Here's a Tactician. All right, Gavin, you're here. Determined for you. Halfling Nobles. I mean, we don't really get to use them too often. That would give me more diplomatic relations with other factions, too, and more money. So I feel like I've only got one choice right now, and that will be it. My upkeep is pretty low, thankfully. I can get some more Master Cooks later. Sweet. Yeah, I do want more Master Cooks. They're pretty strong for what it is. All right. Let's get ready now as we end our turn. It's time to move on to a new turn and to see if they're going to come after me. Hopefully, again, they can't reach me. Then we could just go after their town. I've got my towers. I can then pour right in. Oh, I need to grab that mod. Um, what's it called? I don't know what's inherent over in Still Faith, but I want to give it a go because I use it a lot in my other campaigns. It's where the AI lords level up too. That way you never outlevel them completely. So I'm going to think about that. Okay. Aberash Rictolos. You've got a lot of powerful units. Let's go fight them and hopefully win and be okay. Another battle now. We haven't gotten to get a chance to look at our leader. Let's go find him real quick. He's right over here. Samwise, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's doing all right. Look at him. He's well fed. He's doing okay. Do you have a chicken claw? Yeah. Okay. We're not going to question it. We'll just move on with our lives right now. Now, they have a very large army. Two powerful flanks right now. We're looking at Black Knights, Velbat, and Varguys working together. That's what I would do if I was a undead player right now. Over here, more Black Knights. Two groups of Velbats and one group of Varguys. Over in the middle, we've got Crypt Ghouls. We've got a Vampire of Death Magic. And Mini Graveguard. Now, that does concern me. So, I'm going to let my Dryads, who have more armor... Take up my front lines. I'm going to begin attacking what I can over here, weakening these Black Knights who have over 10,000 health. That's about to go under 10,000 right now. We might not be able to get any kills. They're at 65 in number, and they're holding up. They do have shields and resilience right over here. Look at that. 
yeah, they do not take a lot of damage from ranged attacks. I mean, they have a resistance of 25%, so all damage is negated by a quarter. Here comes my Great Eagle. So their job is to actually go after the Fell Bats and Vargais too. I feel like they will be able to win. Let's go check out a pretty dramatic charge right now that's happening. Oh, man. I have not gotten to play Grimhammer in a very long time, and it feels so damn good to be able to do that. I'm very happy that we're able to do that right now. But everyone is charging in. We'll go over a more tactical view in just a moment. I like to do my little charge zoom in as we pan over the battlefield. So over here, we've got a lot of Black Knights. I need my Ogres to beat a few faces in. They're very strong. They can debuff enemies too. We're fairly buffed up, so I feel like we've got a pretty good chance. Pistoliers are over here moving around. You can see me commanding my soldiers into new locations. My Rangers are now moving back. I've got some infantry over here to help reinforce my weaker parts of my lines because we need to beat their flanks quickly if we want to win. My Great Eagles have already beaten their Vargas and Felbats. I mean, look at their kills. 69 melee attack. Wow. Very sexy and very good. Here comes a bunch of Black Knights. They're charging in too. I probably should have gone after them in the very beginning, but who knows. Their leader is currently dueling. Actually, not their leader, but a Vampiris is currently dueling Samwise. He'll be coming back in just a minute. He's pretty cocky. And here's a proper battle line. Our enemies are moving in. I'm moving a few around to go flank my foes. My pistol leaders are also moving around to go hit them from behind with a few ranged attacks. Vargas is still around, haunting my poor rangers. They're not dealing a lot of damage to anyone, really. I mean, that's 18 damage. They are not very powerful. I wish they were. I probably need like three to four groups in order to make any real dent in my foes. But we are getting some hits in. A little bit of friendly fire because it does happen. Let's have a look over here on the left flank right now and find out what's happening. So we're looking at crit goals of 14 kills. My wardens have 30 kills right now. Another group of backwater butchers at nearly 30 kills. And we're looking at graveguard. Their graveguard are not like, taking any damage at all. They're so fucking strong. It's actually a little bit worrisome for me because of how durable they are. I'm good at low armored foes, right? I'm good at taking low armored foes down, but high armored foes, I'm not nearly as good. It's not my specialty. I don't have the tools for that right now. I only have like what? Pistoliers and ogres to go after highly armored foes. Okay, my ogres are still going downtown over here. I mean, already over 100 kills. Wow. They're fighting Graveguard. They're beating Graveguard. I should probably clarify that. They're beating them really easily. Okay, now my Pistoliers are going to move over here to go after a bunch of Crypt Ghouls. Now, Graveguard would be better, but I'm just here to try to help out my weaker portion of my line right now. So we're going to shoot a bunch of Crypt Ghouls from behind. Oh no, you're not getting my Halfling Snacks. Not today. Alright, let's go look around real quick. Our leader is never going to get a lot of kills, at least not early on. I will need to give him more powerful magic later on for him to support his armies properly. That Vampire of Death magic is now fading. 31 kills total. My Great Eagles are also destroying Black Knights, who only have 12 kills. Left flank, what are we looking at right now? I think my Backwater Butchers, my Master Cooks, are only at, wow, barely any kills, and they're dropping quickly. They have a melee defense of 48, but the Grave Guard are easily beating them. So my left flank is now collapsing. Yeah, they're broken. They're having to leave now. Let's keep on looking. My Great Eagles and my Pistoliers together have beaten quite a few foes. We're taking on a Vampire of Death Magic. I thought it was their actual Vampire Lord, but my mistake. Anyway, let's go back over here where my Ogres probably have like what? Yeah, over 200, nearly 300 kills. I mean, they alone are changing up our entire battle. They've also got a move called Death Blow. I mean, look at that. Okay. If they are low on health, they'll deal a lot more damage. 50% more weapon damage, armor piercing damage, melee attack would even go up too. My Great Eagles are doing well. One group is kind of wavering, but they're coming back. Yeah, they're good. And we have won the battle. We just need to take out one more enemy. I had my Great Eagle cycle charges on their leader towards the very end. Now they're all falling apart, and we have won another major battle. We've done it for the Mootland. There we go. A close victory. Okay, I'll take it. We did lose a lot. I was about to lose my front line. That was very close, actually. I had to focus on their leader towards the latter half in order to win. So we're going to need a lot of Halfling-themed names over here. The soup capital of the world is coming on up. The tears of my enemies are now being used as a special ingredient. Outside of, you know, Minotaur semen. Listen, I can't tell you what the upper class likes, but they're pretty weird. Alright, I'm going to retain control again. 
colonial fort, more replenishment, and more public order. I'm going to get rid of all that corruption early on. I have never seen the undead lose so quickly. But my units are great at taking on lowly armored units. When it comes to highly armored, their grave guard were not budging very much. And my ogres killed so many. They are important to me. I need more. I need so many more. Okay, let's have a look over here at rank four now. Irrepressible. I'll take that. Then over here, guess what? <laughs> more replenishment, man. And because I'm getting more points, I can actually work on a few other things too besides... Oh, hold on. You've got a big army. I do not like that. So in order for me to survive, I need to recruit what I can. We'll take a few great eagles. Okay, sure. Here's some dryads too. Gotta get them quickly or I'm gonna die. Horribly, actually. Okay, Gregor, come over here to Templehof. I might even lose my capital. It's very likely. I don't know how big that garrison will be. Not too large, I suppose. Okay, you failed, unfortunately. Understood. What about research? What can we do for that today? What's going to help me out? Well, losing a bit of that upkeep would help out a lot, for sure. So we'll do that. Only four turns, too. Chopped onions, butter, flour, carrots, turnips, potatoes, and mutton. Gotta have that. Gotta have all of it. All right, we'll combine what we have. We've lost two units right now, but our units are a little bit more filled up. I could get a few bits of halfling militia. They're not very powerful, but they can do some stuff. I can't quite reach what I would like to. Let's come over here real quick. Form up our encampment for one. Ooh, free company militia. That would be great. I wanted to flank them with my range units, but I couldn't. They had really a lot of flying um, units, too. And here's a gold mine for 900 gold. We lose two to our public order, but it's fine. Okay, so you're making me a lot of money. What's over here? Ooh, tobacco plot. I like that. I'm going to take my soup kitchen for now. My upkeep will go down in my province. Replenishment will go up. I'll be able to recruit more units, and I'll be able to have more public order. Cool. We'll take it. There goes all of my money for now. Let's end our turn, and hopefully not get killed, because I did kind of overexpand a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, come on. Don't come over here, kid. I don't need any of your business. You go, Carl. Between me and you, we're going to unite the Empire. Or maybe I'll become the Kitchen Emperor. How about that? Emperor Chef. I make everyone serve me food, and then I call it shit. Cool, they're not budging right now. Heck yeah. That's really good for me. Oh, they're moving away. No, they have another army. Okay, it's Manfred. I got you. All right. You're back over here in your town. Now, if I could damage your garrison, good job, you did it. And a zealot to get rid of even more taint. I've been playing evil for so long, it feels good to play a good faction. It's been a very long time. Yeah, here, destroy more of them. I could use more public order, sure. We'll take that as well. Okay. I've got two armies right now. Because I need them. Alright, we'll take two of you. That's all the money I have. And we'll come over here to go break down your castle because I've got to. I don't have a choice right now. I've got to go in and fight. All right, let's have a look over here. Ooh, I'm going to go take his walls right now. Look at that. That works in my favor. Let's go fight him on the walls a lot. Now, that's pretty cool. I like how the AI appears to be performing a little bit differently from what I'm used to. Usually, they just wait for me to come in, but here we have a bunch of fell bats moving out to fight my forces and I didn't want to have a battle where I only went after one wall. I want to entertain all of you, which means I'm going to send in all of my halflings to every portion of the wall that they have. Let's keep on moving. I mean, look at the carnage over here. That was actually really fucking cool. The overall aesthetics are tremendous and I love it a lot. Okay. Let's go have a look now. We've got fell bats at less than 50 left. I've got a few units making it over to the walls. And what else do we have? We've got wardens that are making it too. Back over here, we're looking at a bunch of fell bats fighting a large group of my friends. And it looks like they're going to be able to make it, but we're going to take some losses, probably from the towers. Now, they do not have the proper defenses to easily hold the walls. 
I don't believe they could easily hold them against me, especially if I send in Great Eagles. My Great Eagles are so damn powerful, they will easily destroy all of them, and that'll be great. So we're looking at over 40 for kills. Over here is a Grand Enchanter, our leader, Sam Wise, at one kill. He's a wizard, but I'm using him for a bunch of, you know, awesome support abilities to give me more replenishment. All right. What more do we have? More Wardens over here. That's very good. I like that a lot. And they're just going to climb up as we get ready. Now, there will be a period of time where I'm just going to allow my more core units to break down the front gates, and that would be my Grand Enchanter, my Ogres, and a few other units too, like my Master Cooks, and they're going to help me fight in the very middle of the enemy's formation. Okay, Dryads are now moving in. Now, sometimes if you're not careful, even if you tell them to go climb up on the wall, they'll come over here and wait and not move at all until you command them again. It's very annoying. I wish it could be fixed. I don't know if it can be. I hope it can be one day fixed because you can lose a lot of units if you're not paying attention. Like there, I lost a few more than I probably should have. Back over here, my Pistoliers are being shot at, but we should be able to capture that wall momentarily. It shouldn't be much of an issue. My Halfling Militia is currently breaking, but we are beating their fell bats. I mean, that was a lot of fell bats that no longer will harry my lines anymore. Okay, the Wardens are at 88, three kills total. These Wardens over here, let's see, barely any kills at all, but that is okay. Let's have a look then. All right, we've got zombies, we've got great eagles who are around, and they're at 51 kills. The other group is at what, 52 kills, so I mean, they're roughly comparable. And I'm slowly taking over each portion of their wall. That's what I'm talking about. That allows me to let them rest up. It also means I'm not having to fight all of these dire wolves down here. I mean, they have, what, 32 weapon strength, 24 a charge bonus. The reason why I'm going over stats, too, is because I am using mods. So if you play the base game, it will not be comparable. Still faith, closer to tabletop, all of it. They're all different, so that is what is going on here. All right. These undead are falling pretty quickly, and I love, again, the overall aesthetic of the battlefield. I haven't gotten to really fight the undead in so long. It's been a lot of good guys I've been fighting because I've been really playing a lot of evil factions. But anyway, they're falling apart now. We're about to finish up on the walls where we'll be able to break down the front gate, then go after whatever else we want to. The gate is being broken down right now. They're in a lot of trouble. Let's have a look over here. We've got Halfling Rangers who are currently on the wall. They're shooting down at a bunch of Dire Wolves, dealing a little bit of damage, but as you can see, they're never dealing a lot of damage to really make a huge change in the battle. My Great Eagles are waiting. I just want a period of time where we could zoom right in with our other elite infantry units like our Ogres and push right in to beat more of them. So here we go right now. Let's have a look. They're all surging forward. And now we get to go after one corpse cart. It's going to melt quickly. After that, we can begin to fight everyone else around us. I mean, they're about to dogpile on me. Literally dogpile. Have a look at what they're doing right now. They're moving around, but here comes their Strigoi Ghoul King charging right in. But my ogres don't give a shit. Wow, they're really quick. They are really, really quick. We're looking at only one dead in the group. Oh, nope, a few more now. Their ghoul king is not gonna make it for too long, I don't believe, but they are going to surround us. And when they do, I will begin to surge in with all of my waiting troops up here on the walls. I mean, they are now fresh. They quickly became fresh again. That is why I'm allowing them to get hit from two sides. That way, again, we could hit them right after. My rangers are also helping out. They're pretty low in bolts, but we do have a group of undead over here. Now, eventually, we're going to have our other group of halfling rangers attack that group of skeletal spearmen. That way, they can just melt away and leave us alone. All right. What else do we need now? Ogres. Ogres who are melting a little bit, but they're at over 50 kills, 54 kills now. And it's only going up. Their Shigoi Ghoul King is taking a lot of damage. He's trying very hard to stay alive. Well, unlive. What's over here now? 
We're looking at dire wolves who are still very much around. 20 kills over here. What more do we have? Black Knights who are at 12 kills. I mean, they're surging out to fight my poor halfling militia. I've got a few militiamen. Militia halflings. Militia halves? Halflishes? I don't know. We need a good word for it. Okay, these ogres are at 90 kills and going up. My butchers are really taking a lot of damage, but they're holding up too. My rangers have beaten that group of undead spearmen. Yeah, when it comes to flanking and hitting, they always do a much better job, but because my enemies have so many flying units, or even wolves too, I haven't been able to flank my foes with my ranged units. Otherwise, that is a very profoundly effective tactic. Okay, the Wardens are pushing back a bunch of dire wolves, and they are being destroyed. Who do we have over here? One Strigoi Ghoul King, and also dire wolves as well that are hanging on, but barely. My Ogres took a lot more hits than usual, but hey, it's bound to happen. Okay, Invocation of the Heck, you get more magic resistance, you get replenishment, but also a reduction to your melee attack. Okay. There's a drawback to it now. I mean, his melee attack is still very high, so it's not like a huge change. But he's now surrounded. Most of our enemies are now dead, so we're just going to surround their Gold King and destroy him. We've won another major fight. We're about to get out of here. But we've taken a major settlement from them. That's going to change up the fate of every undead in the region. We're about to cleanse everything here. We're going to pour like really hot soup on all of them. Even the land too. And the battle is over. We've won. That was a bloody victory, but we did win. That's really what matters in the Halfling book. Okay, we're going to occupy that location too. Goodbye, Eric. We've gained an Ogre Blade. Ooh, an Ogre Blade. We've got Ogres. I shall retain control again. I mean, it belongs to me. That's what I should be saying. There we go. More replenishment. We can get Renowned and Feared. Then later, Quartermaster. We can reduce all of our upkeep completely so to where we'll just have a lot of money. Oh, I love it. It's great. All right. So we have divided up Manfred's lands. He's not looking that great right now. I don't feel so good, Mr. Samrise. I think I called him Samrise. <laughs> Gross. Okay, we're going to end our turn now. So we're going to do that right away and see what we can do afterwards. But so far, we're doing a great job. We've handled a lot of the undead. I mean, really, whenever you're over in the Eastern lands, like if you're playing as Vlad or even Manfred, you've got to do this like really fast because you don't have a lot of time. You've got to either win or lose the game. That's really it. Okay, Obersteyer, he's trying to ambush. I mean, if he ambushes me, that would actually work in my favor depending on which army I bring in. That would be really funny. Now the Skull Takers are fighting Sylvania. That's a tribe of orcs. Thank you, orcs, for being very kind. Okay, good trick of Felix. I need to find a mod to make them permanent. I don't know if, like, Still Faith changes any of them, but that would be really cool for me if they did. I'll have to go say hello later on. Okay, I have a mission, but they're not giving me any of your rewards for it? What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? I could use a good bit of stuff. Okay, we found him. Hello, Manfred. I'm going to come over here and... Hmm. I've got a few ideas, actually. Hold on. We'll come over to your garrison. We failed, unfortunately. Now, I wonder, can you reach them in time? You can. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to lock up his reinforcements. No, I can't win that. They have way too many. They would easily win. They would easily beat me. But now they're divided. Okay, Drakenhof, you're going to have a pretty big rebellion in time, and that won't be pleasant. What more do we need? Ooh, what's over here? Training ground. Holy crap, 100 experience per turn. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. I could use a Shrine of Sigmar to get rid of more corruption. I could do that too. A Chapel of Ulrich. Ooh, I could even go for Ulrich. Neat. All right. I'm going to take you, Samwise. We're going to come over here and go after Manfred. That way, we can easily take over another town from him and be okay, probably. All right, we'll come over here now and easily auto-resolve it. Look at that. Look at that. A vampire hunter, indeed. Plus three to leadership when fighting against vampire counts. That belongs to me, too. I will give like things back over to Carl, but for now, nope. We need a guardhouse. I mean, we always do. We've gained one entertainer. More gold a quarter. Okay, a bone picker for more casualties captured post-battle. And I'm not going to gain anything while I'm here. Well, 
not if I don't encamp, but because of my high replenishment, look at that. I can now restore my army quickly. Cool. Okay, rank two. You've got the same ability tree here, so maybe I won't keep you. But then again, I mean, we don't get to play halflings very much. Leader of Renown, 20 experience per turn. Yeah, these are all better than they normally are. That's really cool. Untainted. I mean, those two are pretty much the same. But anyway, we'll grab more replenishment again. I like it. We've got a full location under my command. I could use more public order. Who's over here? Who the hell are you? Oh, you've got an interesting look to you. A Nurgle themed tribe. That's really cool. Champion of Slaneshto. Okay. Huh. Then we have Icky, the troll. I'll have to go kill him later. A troll leader. Interesting. Okay, so we're about to have a pretty big rebellion. What if I don't tax you? I would lose money. How much money? Not a lot of money, actually. So, yeah, we'll do that for now because we're trying to get Manfred. Eshin has been burned down, so I'm going to need to rebuild that. Waldenhof is probably more important to pick up before I do that, before someone else picks it up. If I don't get that area, so be it. But look at... Oh, man. Dude, Carl can move. Carl knows how to move around. Welcome, my countrymen. All right. Trade with my good buddy Sterling. I'll take it. Have you ever seen such a mighty Mootlin? We're finally expanding. We're like, you know what? Keep your shitty human lands. We'll go get our own lands. These now belong to us here. We'll make a better nation. Better county. Ooh, the trolls are coming into play. I'll need to go get them in time. All right, was he destroyed? I don't know if he was destroyed or not, but... Oh, he was. Okay, goodbye, undead. Holy crap. Everyone came after them and destroyed them. That's actually pretty sweet. I'm going to come over here and go take on Icky. And while I do that, you'll come over here to Templehof and help me build things up. Can you get an Eshin? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're going to have a pretty big rebellion pretty darn soon. I still need more money. That will take time. We should go rebuild that area while I do that. All right, come over here. Let's go after that tribe. Well, maybe not yet. Let's just go scout things out before I do that. Now, getting Mordheim would even be cool, too. Whoa, what's been burning all of you down? That's pretty wild. But Icky is my big target right now. I want to get Icky. But upkeep is about to shoot down by a large amount. I'm going to get a lot more gold per turn. And we shall have true power. Oh, there you are. I was wondering. Okay, so Carl is like chasing him down right now because that's really like his only dominant bow. Cool. I could go down, fight some orcs. I could go up north and fight chaos later. I mean, there's a lot that I can do. And because like I haven't played Still Faith in so long, I don't even know what's new or not. So like there's going to be a lot of new content that will catch me off guard. Upkeep down. Look at my money. It just shot up. <laughs> it's pretty funny what's happening right now. Okay, for research, what do we need? Ooh, troll chowder. Men and elves would hate me. Dwarves would like me. I would gain a lot of replenishment. Corruption would go up, though. But we would all gain regeneration, so there's like a few choices I could make later. I think for now, I'm going to go take my tithe rebates for more public order and more growth as well. Yeah. Can't really access anything else right now, so that to me seems pretty darn good. Let's come over here. I've got some money. Can I rebuild it? I cannot. I need a lot more money. Okay, I'll search the ruins. Oh, I'm not going to even try those. No, we're not doing that. All right, so you're leveling up. That's good. Is that like all chaos corruption? So maybe that was either a chaos tribe. Who knows, man? All right, I'll give you wound for now. Oh, maybe that was only like their initial boost for two points per level. Ooh, that's good to know. Okay, well, I better be careful then. Okay, at your rank, I'm going to give you... Quartermaster. Yeah, things are beginning to slow down. My money keeps on going up. But if we keep on doing that, oh boy. We're going to be strong. I'm a rank 2 power, which is insane right now. What's happening to the world to where I'm a rank 2 power? What? Oh, don't you run away. Come here. Oh, you dirty troll. I'm going to try to go get them if I can. All right. Chaos Corruption is going up. I feel like I better go get that tribe out of here. Maybe even the Rot Bloods too. They've got to go. Not bad. 
we don't have to worry about them anymore. Now, Icky, what are you going to do? Are you going to come after me or will you run? You'll probably run away. I can imagine you would charge at me, though that would be great. I love our new turn times. Now, your power is somehow quite high. Do you have more than one army? Maybe you do. Okay, we're about to have a pretty big rebellion. The Empire. I'll come back down over here for now. Kind of have to. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got a big rebellion on the way. Templehof is okay. I'm going to upgrade that. Press gang to thieves. That's pretty cool. Okay, I am taxing you because I have to be. If I don't... Let's see, if I tax you, I'll lose a little bit, sure, but I'll gain more money. Eh, not a lot more money. Yes. Let's go take care of homeboy over here. I need to build up my lands that I do have, but I need to get rid of him because, I mean, he was raiding. Oh, river trolls, cool. Okay, so stone trolls, river, we've got forest trolls, all types of trolls. That should be a very bloody fight, but fun to watch. Maybe for all of you, not for me as much, but <laughs> it should be fun. Let's go find that out. Just to check out the new trolls, because I've never seen them. And we're fighting Icky. Okay, we're going to go check out Icky and what he's all about. You know how I feel about Icky and my soup. I charge extra. All right, we've got forest trolls over here. I mean, there are many variations of trolls, so to have a variety is pretty darn cool. I do want to check out what they're all about real quick before we actually find them. So over here, we've got forest trolls. We're looking at stupidity. Sure. Okay, natural camo. They've got stalk and hide in the forest. Very cool. Actually, we'll move into slow motion briefly. Over here are river trolls. Okay, they can move through shallow water without any issues, it looks like. Very neat. And what about the other two types of trolls we have? Stone trolls. All right, they've got stone skin, which I'm assuming provides a very high ward save or at least physical resistance. Let's have a look at that real quick. Oh my god, 30% is pretty darn high. And over here, stone skin. An augment. Look at that. Magic resistance of 25% as well. They're able to negate a lot of damage. And then finally, normal trolls, which we don't need to look at. But now we know what they're all about. But what about Icky? One troll lord. Oh boy, my poor army's about to be hit pretty hard. Here comes the beat em up gang. I'm about to get treed. Not stoned, but treed. Here comes all of my halflings. Even my cooks, too. Oh my god! He went right through my poor boys. I mean, did you breathe on them? I suppose you did. How many kills did you get? Already over 40. Holy crap. Now, trolls do have low leadership, so they're not going to be here very long. I just wanted to go check them out. Look over here, river trolls. Zero kills. Now they're running away. My great eagles will continue to pursue all of them. Over here, we've got stone trolls, which seem to be the most durable by far. They're killing a few rangers right now. Then we have more trolls. All right. And they're running. But those are just like, you know, the basic ones we don't really care for. They're not stone, forest, or river trolls. And 20 kills now. They're holding up. They're finally beginning to melt. My pistol ears are helping out with that idea. That troll lord is still going at 55 kills. I mean, my ogres will take care of him. But check out the damage he's dealing now. Not delightful, not good. But the battle is now over. We can get out of here. I'm going to kill you, Icky. I'm not going to let you live. We had a good win. Okay. And that showed you how powerful they can be. Thankfully, their low leadership broke them, but Icky killed a lot in his alpha strike. Let's get rid of Icky. Finally, they're all gone. I like how he like waves around his little staff going, yeah, I did it. I'm a champion. <laughs> all right, so we're going to move back down now and get ready for a few nasty rebellions. I've got a hero over here. I'm going to need his help probably. Come on down, buddy. I could use your help today. Things are not looking great currently. I could take that extra money, but I don't want to lose more replenishment. But I'll tax you for a turn. Well, that would give me a chance to get back to my home front, my new home front. So we've got many locations burned down. I'm sure other factions will try to rebuild them in time. I would rather do it, but if they do it, so be it. I'll have to figure out where we're gonna go next. I will need time to fully settle up what we have here. So it may take me a little bit of like campaign building before I'm ready to actually go on to a new fight. Just because again, we just conquered a lot of land in a very short amount of time. There's Helmet Fuhrbach. 
I'm very glad there is a compatibility mod for all of Mixie's lords because I mean, the, I mean, having those custom lords out there for the imperial counties really does flesh things out. And evidently, the trolls faction is rather large. Good to know. There's a light wizard. Okay. Sort of caned by 17. Wow, that's really quick, actually. Not bad. Okay, we are going to run down here. Upkeep goes up whenever I use my march. Understood. My wizard will come on down and go check things out down here. And I'm going to go to Drakenhof. I'm taxing you. Get over it. I need the money, man. Even over here, I need the money. Holy crap, what a big change. Corruption, 20%. Okay. Or minus 20, rather. See, we just have a lot of corruption to go through right now. That's really the biggest issue. How should we proceed? All right, Gregor, you'll wait over here and train up our army. That should give you experience per turn anyway. Cool. We're still waiting on money. There's a little mod that adds in land landmarks or sites of interest on land, and I think that would be cool. So I think I might want to do that. Might want to look into that. See what we can do. Okay, there's Franklin again, moving up to her gig. Her gig, I mean, these all have a lot of corruption. All of these lands here, they just look like they're having issues. It's actually pretty nice to be able to see what's going on for Carl. Carl's moving around. If the AI usually does that, I wonder how they get to you so quickly, because, wow, that's pretty far out there. Okay, there's the Rebellion. I need to get down there. The Old One's Demise. What now? Legions of unnatural beings break through from the otherworldly realm through a once sealed portal torn asunder at Wahutek, a city of echoes. Ooh. Okay, so we got random events too, like one over here, Rebellion. Ouch. Okay, so I do want to avoid those just because there are events that really make it hard for me to recuperate. And we can easily get rid of them. We'll take the money because I need it. Very good, he's gone. Another Light College Acolyte, getting rid of more corruption. I need to repair everything here in order to fully make use of it. Very good. Okay. Now, after that, I will need, let's see, a Warrior Priest. Pretty cool, for sure. Region-wide, region-wide. Okay. Common Temple. Now, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Bunch of interesting building ideas that I've not seen. And now, I want you to come over here to Templehof, where we can settle up for a few turns. Okay, there's no corruption here, really. Vampires are gone already, man. That's pretty wild. We fought a lot of vampires in part one. So, when we're back, we'll be ready to probably colonize a little bit. I might pass a few turns if nothing happens at all. If it does have a few events that pop up, then don't worry. I'll go back and make sure that we do not miss anything at all. But, yeah, I think I might just be able to finish a few turns, spend my gold, and be okay. Yeah, take that for now. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Ready. Leave a like, everyone, if you've enjoyed your soup campaign. And don't forget to comment. And I also have a Dogs of War community. So that's a little Discord link down below. You can ask me questions. You can talk to me. You can name units. We even have a few events coming up, too. And beyond that, if you're a patron, thank you for supporting my channel. If you're a member of my channel, thank you for that, too. So that's really it. Look forward to another part later. And if we can hit, like, 1,000 likes, I mean, that would be really cool. We can aim for that. Do it for the soup gods.